This week's Waiver Wire Showdown features Zach Moss of the Buffalo Bills and Jacoby Myers of the New England Patriots. After being a surprise and active in Week 1, Moss has burst back onto the scene in Buffalo, scoring three touchdowns in two games, while gaining 125 total yards across those two games. While the touchdown total is nice and Moss has actually looked good running with power and quicker feet than last year, he's still very much in a timeshare. Over his two active weeks, Moss has only 46% of the snap share at running back and 33% of the total rushes. He's also actually third on the team in red zone carries behind Devin Singletary and Josh Allen. Singletary even has the same amount of targets in the passing game as Moss over the last two games, so there's literally no metric other than touchdowns where he is ahead of his counterpart. As a Bills fan, I'm happy that Moss looks good, but I would not be chasing this off the wire unless I was in an incredibly deep league. On the other hand, Myers has yet to break out, hauling in 19 catches for 176 yards and no touchdowns over three games. Yet his role is far more secure than Moss's. Myers has a 95% snap share and 25% target share, both of which lead Patriots receivers. He's also being utilized on deeper routes as well as in the underneath passing game, which is good news now that James White is hurt. It's no surprise that last week, without White for much of the game, Myers was Mac Jones' main target underneath, which gives him a solid floor in PPR leagues. While Jacoby Myers is the winner this week, I wouldn't be looking to spend too much money on him in the waiver. He is a high floor, low ceiling play that is much better for you in PPR leagues. I definitely think you want to put in a bid for him, but I don't think you'll be kicking yourself if you miss out in the long run.